people do not understand where their food comes from. That's News right. Flash. And, and News flash, Chicken has- McNuggets died, everybody. All right, just so we're clear, Chicken McNuggets don't come from McDonald's. Chicken McNuggets died so that they could be there at McDonald's for you. Here's what I point out, and here's why. Uh, when it comes to the end of the season, and you're picking beans or corn or whatever it may be, and in the spring you're picking wheat uh, into the year, uh, you need propane, lots of it, or natural gas. They prefer propane in many places to dry that grain. The price of propane right now is through the roof. The price of natural gas has gone up many fold. So when you dry the grains, so it can be shipped uh, from your containers into the Andersons or wherever you're sending it, then it has to another expense there. You've got the shipping cost of the diesel fuel that takes the trucks to ship it there. And by the way, Kent, I don't remember remember seeing any electric combines out there uh, gleaning the corn and the wheat and anything else. Maybe I missed it, my friend. But here in Michigan, we've got corn fields and bean fields just like you do in Minnesota. I don't see electric combines running around saving the planet. How about you? No, no. And... And just to give some pe- people an idea of how, how big this problem is, phosphate fertilizer, for example, is used on everything. It's used on, like you say, corn, soybeans. It's used for fruit crops. It's used for citrus. It's used for literally everything. In fact, I mean, to bring it home, when you when you buy fertilizer for your own garden, you, you'll see there's three numbers on there, usually 10, 10, 10, or something like that. And the first number is nitrogen. The second one is phosphorus. And the third one is potassium. And and as soon as we remove uh phosphorus from that equation your your uh, fertilizer is far less effective and, or it's becoming much much more expensive and so just so people understand this is used on literally every crop and for every food well i spoke and- to it and i i, I want to i want to put this up there uh kent i spoke to a farmer friend of mine he turns um, about a thousand acres here not a big farm not a small farm here not far from where i live he said without the proper fertilizer his fields will go from producing 200 bushels of corn per acre to about 120. That's a 40% reduction in production. And, and that's ridiculous because we could head these things off, but we don't. This, this, well, let me just ask you, what is the Biden administration doing, Kent, about any of this? 